So today on the Sunday, what I do is I normally will sit down at my desk and I have my planner. And um, I basically kind of prep out like how my week is gonna look. Prep out what I need to do, how it's gonna look um, for school purposes. So I normally write all that down in my planner. But for the video to make it easier, I typed it up so you can kind of see my little schedule right here. So this is the schedule of my week. You can pause and look at it if you want. But, and, and that's basically what I got going on. Exam, I have two clinicals. I got mental health clinical, med search clinical on Thursday and Friday, pre-clinical on Wednesday. I work this week. I have um, all kinds of stuff, okay? So you're gonna come with me on this crazy business. Today, I'm probably gonna cook my dinner and I'm gonna cook enough for me to eat, to take with me during clinicals and class for the week. Um, and that's what's going on today, so. And I'm going to visit one of my uh, my stepmoms too and bring her some flowers and just check in with her. We're going to go do that. So that's going to keep us busy today. Let's go. We here come and see my uh, stepmom and uh, one of my dads today. So, yeah, let's go. We had not seen her in ooh, it's been a minute, so I'm excited to see her. I know Christopher is excited to see her too. So, yeah. made it home after spending some time with family um my son got to play with um you know some cousins his age and um jump on trampoline and stuff um i got to spend time with my stepmom and catch up on some stuff so now i'm back home um i have a couple things i need to do i need to um i have some laundry i need to fold and put up and then i also need to make dinner that i took out this morning um some different stuff to cook so that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to cook, have that in the oven and stuff like that, and then go ahead and fold the clothes. So that's my little clothes laundry that I need to fold. a little bit later today this sunday and um when i woke up went go run some errands visit some family members and then um came home cooked and put the food up and cleaned and all that stuff washed dishes did some laundry i did a zoom study session with um with one of my study buddies for nursing school for about two hours when my son took a nap and then i uh, got him ready for bed you know tended to my husband for a little bit just kind of hung out with him spent some time with him and now i am in my little office and i'm about to do some um practice questions because tomorrow is the test so i have my tea here to give me motivation but yeah it was a full day even just life just life without nurse and stuff and it, it's just you know busy so yeah good morning today is monday it's um what march 21st 2022 it's exam day i have my third exam for nursing school um i am up and dressed and stuff at home i got up probably for about i don't know 7 40 and right now it's maybe like 8 20 i'm about to go and um get my son up and dress for school um, because I have an exam at 10 a.m. So that's what I'm about to go do. Yes. Clean No, they're not. You gotta brush your teeth. Here, I'm gonna give you a brush. You brush it, okay? Uh, no. Brush your teeth. 
All right, so I'm back from class and I'm at home working on my computer. I got me a little bit of coffee right here. And um, yeah, the test wasn't bad. I feel okay with the test. You know, after you leave a test, you always, you chatting up with your friends on the phone, talking about how was this question, how was that question. So I did that. We talked for about 30 minutes, something like that. But um, I don't know. I feel like the test was all right. I feel like it wasn't terrible. Um, we all see when they put the, put the grades up, I would say I would definitely made at least over an 80. So I'm thinking I made something between an 80 or above. I don't okay. want the bugs. Crawfish. No, we won't. Crawfish. After passing to Zam 3. Some family out here. I'm not going to put their face on there. They don't want to be on there. <laughs> so these are some remote control cars. So me and my toddler spending some time together. Oh, let's see if I can get this right. With these remote control cars. So racing them. Up and down. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, uh, March 23rd, 2022. Um, it's about 7.35 in the morning and I'm in my car. I'm driving to my class. I have med surge lecture today from about 8 to 11.30 and then I'll work. Um, I'll work after that. So I kind of left my house kind of late, you know, because I need to get to class for 8 and it's like it's like 7 40 and we have a quiz this morning like a little quiz so i should have left a little bit earlier i didn't i was hoping that they would cancel because today is supposed to be like bad weather and i could kind of tell you can kind of like you know how like you can kind of like smell the rain in the air and it's super windy and um it's very very overcast in college so you can tell the weather is going to be bad so that's basically all there is today. If something interesting happens, I'll um, check in. Right, okay, guys. So for tonight, I'm doing grilled cheese for my family for dinner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and package up the food that I cooked Sunday and kind of freeze it because that's what I'm going to take with me for clinicals and preclinicals and work and stuff this week for um, the remainder of the week. So I'm going to do that. I'll show you that. And then I'm also going to show you how I make my green smoothie. Let's get these grilled cheese sandwiches on. So these are my humble grilled cheese sandwiches. My son has two, my husband has one, and my mom has one. <laughs> yeah, they're humble, but you know what? They're cute and they're good. That's all that matters. Grilled cheese. Great, so these are this is my meal prep that I, I cooked this Sunday and I'm plating it today, which is Tuesday. And showing you what's on there. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them. It's mostly rice and gravy. I'm gonna say there's about a cup of rice in there. Um, gravy, chicken, some of them have black eyed peas. Um, some of them have corn because I ran out <laughs> of the black eyed peas. So that's what my meals look like. And so I'm gonna actually freeze them and that's what i'll you know i take with me to school and then on here sometimes i put a sticker and i put the date of when i um the date of when it's been frozen or i'll even use like a dry erase marker and put that in there so and then i put them up and freeze them so now it's time to fold the clothes that have been sitting here i think we're sitting here this friday or probably sunday so this is my green smoothie. I um, make this sometimes as like a snack. You see how thick it is? It is so good. I put spinach in it, pineapples, banana, mango. It's delicious. And then I also put apple and black seed in it. But um, I can kind of make it different consistency. Sometimes I'll make it to where it's um, super thick and I can eat it almost like a sherbet so good and um, sometimes i'll thin it out a little bit and i'll drink with a straw that's mostly how i drink it but it is delicious 
It's so good. Good morning. Hey, everybody. I'm on my way to work today. It's Wednesday, March 23rd. Um, I basically went to sleep late. So went to sleep late and tired. And I woke up late and tired. So, uh, you know, my job, you know, we have to go into the office so many days per week. So I'm going into the office today. And then when I leave the office, I'm going to go drive to the hospital because I have preclinical between four and six I have preclinical and then when I when I leave preclinical I go over there get my patient information as quickly as possible and then so I can leave and when I leave I go ahead and I go to um I go pick up my son from daycare so but yeah that's the biggest thing I think I'm just tired about like Wednesday wake up tired went to sleep tired and late woke up tired and late so now I'm on my way to to work um I guess one of my things today is um just um thinking about like if you ever if you ever have those thoughts of like you know if you could do things differently in life would you and i think like i would i would you know if i could just do different things with my education or just life relations and stuff like that and and, and money and and friendships and, and um choices and stuff if i could redo some of those things like i would and then like my spirit is like hey you can't do those. You can't redo. You can't redo. That's not realistic. So instead, I try to think of like how it says in Romans 8, 28, that, and we know in all things the Lord works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And that's one of my favorite scriptures to know that um, even when bad stuff happens to us or, you know, if we do bad stuff to people or say mean things to people or it happens to us or even if we make bad choices and bad decisions, you know, God can still use all of that for our good using all of that to like grow us and make us better and stronger and um yeah so that's my thoughts for this morning hello so right now i've had a full day okay went to work went to preclinical at the hospital met my patients that i'll be taking care of tomorrow and um yeah i came home i've already bathed my son um it's about 8 45 right now so i'm probably gonna let him stay up and play till about maybe a little after 9 maybe 9 15 ish um 9 30 before i like make him go to bed so he can sleep the whole night um oh you know it's been a long full day so the only thing that i have to do tonight is um all of my preclinical stuff whatever you know like any meds i didn't know or um patho for disease processes that i didn't know i have to review those tonight so that i can be prepared for clinical tomorrow and um i also retwisted like kind of re neatened some of my hair that's why you see my little my little i had my hair tie on so it's a little, you see a little line but i had to go in and redo my hair not redo it but neaten the front the edges because we have to wear it off, off of our shoulders for clinical so i had to go and redo it the perimeter of it and even add one of them braids slipped out you know they were slipping like slip and slide slip 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 so i had to go and neaten them up so that my hair could be neat for clinical this week i need to take them out but that's another problem for another day i don't feel like it but i need to so we'll see but until then i'm gonna keep neating them up and, and kind of make them last until the next break that we have so yeah so that's what i'll be doing today so I probably won't be able to, I probably won't go to sleep until, I probably won't get to go to sleep until maybe 12 a.m. Um, if that, I'm going to try to go after that because I was tired. I'm already kind of laughing and sleep from Tuesday, so, but yeah, so that's the update. See y'all in the morning. Hey, today is Wednesday, March 24th. Um, I went to sleep late, woke up early. Needless to say, I, I woke up very tired. It was very hard to get out of bed this morning, but I managed. Um, right now, it's about 1030 in the morning, um, and I'm working on the computer. I just ate a little eggs and um, a little Danish and drinking some coffee. I have evening clinicals on Thursdays and Fridays. So um, my evening clinicals are basically from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night. So I might be able to show you um, 
you know, I'll be able to kind of talk to you a little bit about like my patients that I took care of today, what I learned and stuff like that. Um, and then I have, I have separate videos about like my clinical day experiences and coming to work on the shift with me. That is like separate. So go check out my page and watch that video on the clinical day. Um, cause I'm on the med surge trauma unit. So I see a lot of, uh, this semester, I see a lot of gunshot wounds, a lot of broken bones from car accidents, um, and stuff like that. Stabbings, all that stuff. I get to take care of those patients. So go watch, go check on my page and watch some clinical day, uh, vlogs. Cause you get to come along and work with me and kind of see what's going on, what I'm learning with those patients. So, um, basically when I leave, I might leave, I'm gonna leave here early and I might go grab some lunch with my husband um i like to eat a heavy heavy lunch when i work the evening shift because we go on our dinner at six so i don't want you know i don't want to eat too heavy because you know i'm be there till 11 on my feet so i like to eat a heavy heavy lunch before i go to my evening clinical school <laughs> guys it is 10 50 excuse the light please because i know it looks pretty terrible but i don't know if i can it looks pretty bad i don't know that still looks bad oh well but anyway i'm just back i'm just got back from um my clinical um and it's 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 what it's 10 50 not 10 30, it's 10 50 so it's 10 minutes to 11 um, o'clock at night. I had a good clinical. I got to uh, clean some wounds, give some meds, take care of my patient. Um, and it was just a good day. I got to do some stuff, see some different things. And um, I, I learned a lot. And clinical is always fun, especially when you get to like do different skills and practice different skills in your patient. So um, it was a good day. Um, most of it, I, I, I video vlog this actual clinical day um, on another video because this is my vlog week. So if you're interested in the details, I would say go look at that video for the details of today. I work um, as a clinical student. I'm on the med sur surgery trauma unit. So we get a lot of gunshot wounds, car accidents, um, so broken broken bones and stuff like that. So if you want to look more of the details for my patient information, go watch that video. But I mean, today is good. It was a good clinical. I learned a lot. Got to do some new skills. I feel good. Um, I'm tired and uh, I don't have to work in the morning. So that's good. So what that means is that I'll be able to sleep a little bit later because tomorrow I have mental health clinical. So, yeah. And we can't take our phones on the mental health unit as students. I don't know why. It's crazy, but we can't. So um, I'll try to vlog a little bit of that as much as I can. Um but we don't have our phone in the unit. So I might just really talk about like what happened <laughs> and how my patients work. So see y'all tomorrow night. Hey guys, today is Friday, March 25th and we made it. It's been a long week. So I'm glad for this Friday. I had med surge trauma clinical last night, which was cool tonight. I have a mental health clinical. So I'm about to make some coffee. I ate a little bit of breakfast, um, a biscuit couple minutes ago so now i'm about to make some coffee my husband's at work and my mother just dropped my son off to daycare so um yeah i don't have to work this morning i do have clinical tonight but i kind of have my morning to chill and clean up i need to uh like it i need to clean up and um sweep the floor and stuff like that at least and kind of pick up some things and then I'm going to turn in my, my paperwork from last night. I'm going to turn that in today and try to finish my notes, rearranging my notes from Tuesday so I have those to study um, for the next few weeks. Um, <sighs> yeah, so I have evening clinicals from like basically 2 to 11. So I'll take you guys kind of with me and, and kind of share with you how that went and uh, or how that goes. And um yeah, that's all it's got going on right now. I'm going to do some studying, finish some paperwork, turn that stuff in, and just be prepared for the night. So right now, I'm about to drink my coffee. Ah! Cheers. Yeah. So let's do this. Alright guys, it is about 
10 45 10 50 we left the hospital at about 10 30. um i had my mental health clinical tonight so i was a mental health unit so anyway it was busy it was kind of lit left uh the hospital and went straight to walgreens and got this big old bottle <laughs> of moscato wine i'm not gonna drink the whole bottle no we don't do that here we we all about moderation on this end but i am gonna take a bath and drink maybe one glass you know a little champagne flute of moscato just to kind of relax unwind chill i might eat some fruit with it you know get fancy eat some fruit with it and just chill and relax and unwind watch a little netflix and then go to bed and then i'll probably finish my paperwork and turn that in paperwork from tonight tomorrow and turn it in tomorrow so i mean it was a good night um my patient um just a little bit about my patient um they basically they basically um were not taking their medication and were having you know was having like um delusions and threatened to harm one of their family members and so their family member brought them and to the hospital had them committed into mental health unit until they can get help the patient get you know um get situated with their medications um and you know so that they can kind of limit that mania that they were experiencing like that manic episode because they have bipolar disorder that patient so it was interesting to talk to the patient um she didn't really want to talk much to me, but she talked more to my classmates. So I still was able to um, learn about her and get some information. Um, so I always talk about some of the meds they took because it's always interesting. Um, right. And that's something as a student, I wanted to know what are some of the meds they took. So they took a lot, you know, this patient, um, she took some antipsychotics for sure. Seroquel, um, Seroquel, um, uh, Ambilify, um, and then some other medications because she had general medical diagnosis as well. So other than that, it was a good night. I'm about to go in, like I say, take a bath, drink a glass of wine, watch some Netflix, and just kind of unwind before I go to bed. So all this paperwork that I did, I'll turn this in tomorrow. So yes, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>
we had exam week so that means last weekend i was really studying for that exam on monday then we had lecture on tuesday and then i worked after class wednesday you know i worked all day and then i had preclinical that evening i had to prep for clinical the next day thursday I had clinical all day and i worked that morning you know friday clinical all day turning in paperwork studying and rearranging notes in between that time and then that's just the school part I also, because I'm a wife and a mother and stuff like that, and I have other obligations and responsibilities, I'm tending to all that during the busyness like of nursing school. Nursing school is just kind of like a small chunk of my life. It's not the whole thing, but it takes up so much time. Um, and so this kind of vlog was just to show you like, you know, hey, if you're a parent or something like that or your spouse or whatever, you got responsibilities you can do nursing school but your nursing school journey is going to look different from someone who may not have all your responsibilities you know it's going to look different you're going to be busier and you might be tired because you got more responsibilities but it's doable you know if you have that drive and that desire to do it you can totally do it so i hope you guys like this video um this is a week in the life vlog of a nursing student during exam week so this is a long vlog this is the longest video i've piled together put together ever but um i hope it does well i hope you guys like it and you just gain some insight um into what it's like to have all these roles if you're you know obligations and being a nursing student or even insight into like what your family members may be going through if they're a nursing student and they have all these obligations just give some insight peace and blessings um i'm probably going to show you my breakfast and i think that'll be it we're wrapping it up okay Peace and blessings, guys. In the next video.